Hi everyone and welcome back and in this video we are going to talk about all possible ways to trigger a GraphQL query or we have already discussed how to integrate with the APIs that means how to make a API call using REST like get, put, post, delete using Exios and fetch but what about the GraphQL APIs we have GraphQL queries and mutation how to integrate those with the React component and what all different libraries are available in the today's world which we can use to make a GraphQL query and mutation. So we are going to use Axios, React Query, we are going to use uh, Apollo GraphQL and URQL, different libraries are there. So we are going to talk about one by one. So first of all we will add the dependency of Apollo client. So Apollo client library we need and we need a GraphQL. This is another library we need. Right. So after installing both the dependency in our system, what we can do is we have to create Apollo client, right? So what we can do is import Apollo provider and all these things from, we will specify what all the things we need. Apollo provider from Apollo, Apollo client. So from Apollo client we are going to get a lot of things that contains the Apollo provider Apollo client. Now I think it would be easy to import things. Apollo provider, Apollo client we need, Apollo provider we need, okay Apollo client Apollo provider and in memory cache these things we need from Apollo client, okay. Let's say we are going to hit uh, the SpaceX APIs which are open. So we can create a const client equal to new Apollo client. And we need to pass the domain, the URL of our GraphQL APIs. So we need to pass URI as a property. And in the URI, we can just pass HTTPS. I have that URL somewhere. I can just pass that GraphQL endpoint. Okay, and cache we can pass the in memory cache new in memory cache object in memory cache. So this creates our client, and then this client we can pass in the Apollo provider. Apollo provider, and you can pass the client. This is our client which we just created. Okay, now just wrap our component in the Apollo provider. Now, all the app component, inside app component, we should be able to make the GraphQL query. <coughs> now, in the uh, app component, app component is, uh, here we have app component. In the app component, we wanted to make a query. So, how can we do that? Let's define our query. Query is simple, getting all the launch. So let's say get launch. You can put some uh, nice variable name and GQL and put backticks and define our, your query here. Before that, we need to import something from Apollo client and Apollo client. We can import a GQL and use query because we are going to trigger a query from the component okay and here we can specify our query our query is simple we are going to get launch as passed or all the past launches and that we can see in the documentation that what all things it takes so it is taking limit 10 and from this we can get id and the mission name this is just a GraphQL query, okay? And how we can integrate it with the component? We can just use a use query hook. The same set of implementation that we have done for the React query. Loading error, but now this is for the GraphQL, not for the REST API. And we are doing use query. And you can pass get launch. And once this is done, you will actually get the data, all these possible options you will receive. 
that if you are getting data then return this otherwise error dot message right so this is a simple implementation let's see if everything is correct get launch launch is passed pass launches we are trying to get okay and save it uh, this is our app.js let's see if it works uh, we are trying to get the, the pass launch you should be getting some error unexpected token where it is talking about this you can reload this sometimes it works very weird Apollo provider we are passing the client and then in the app component you can actually make a call to this GraphQL endpoint okay and the GraphQL query we are trying to get the pass launch and we are using use query hook here which is provided by the Apollo client library and then we can see all the different state response not successful received state 400 means bad request maybe some author unauthorization request bad request is why we are looking for id and mission name limit is 10 okay zql this is my graphql query maybe something wrong with the query but this is the, the way in which you have to trigger a query now you can put your own query i thought like this uh spacex query will work but this is the one way now what is the other way of doing it you can use urql this is another library which is actually used to make a graphql queries okay in that also what we do is now i'm just changing this code to the urql and we are going to create a client and provider here you will go uh, create client and provider because we are using URQL so here it will be create client I mean the implementation is kind of same create client and provider and then you will just you are using create client instead of Apollo client now we are calling create client method passing the URL it doesn't take cache as argument and we can pass this client in the provider so we will just change this from apollo provider to provider and then inside this client inside this value it's like a context provider okay we are going to pass this and then inside our component what change we are going to do here also it provides some kind of a use query implementation we still have the same query launches passed okay and we are going to use use query here we can get the result let's say result we are getting and we are calling use query and inside this it takes object just implementation is little different but it's kind of same everywhere it's just like some signature is different and we are getting the result from here and then based on the result result is going to give us all these arguments like a data loading error so we are saying data is there maybe loading is there and error these are the different state of fetching and then based on that we can just decide what we are getting okay let me save this we are not uh, getting this use query from Apollo client we don't need GQL sometimes I need to look into documentation because this is the syntax is different from Apollo GraphQL here we will just use URQL library and we are getting only use query from there and we are using the use query hook here let's see if this works okay so error in sandbox let's reload it so this is another way once we talked about apollo graphql then this is the urql another library to make the same thing now next example we are going to talk about is the react query react query with the graphql request 
okay so react query also can be combined with another library to do the same thing either we use a graphql apollo graphql either we use a urql and now there is a third implementation we are going to do i'm not sure what is the problem with this at least it should show something like some error message or something like that urql client we are creating a urql client without urql okay let's see this index.js create client what is the problem create client i'm doing okay wait it's not an object it was an object in uh, apollo graphql but not here create client and we are passing the url as an object not uri sorry for that so this is just another library with a different syntax another kind of syntax and here can't read property undefined so let's go to our app.js what we are getting inside data so here we are getting data dot launch posts let's see if we are getting data if we are getting data then we can just check if data is there then only try to access this property otherwise not just a safety check and let's say can't query field launch post what do you mean launches fast okay maybe the query name was not correct earlier but now it is uh, showing me all the launches right that, that that it has made and the limit is 10 okay let's keep this here our query was not correct earlier now we are able to get the data okay now let's use react query with the graphql request so we need to install this react query react query we have added and then graphql request these are two different modules react query can work with the graphql request to provide the same behavior which we are looking for okay now i'm going to change this code for that okay index.js so i will be using react query here so i will be importing things from react query so be ready for that here we are going to use query client uh we have query client and then query client provider query client provider and we are going to pass query client provider as expected instead of this provider and we are going to pass client instead of value and we are going to create a client and the client is simple like we were doing it earlier const client equal to new query client okay here it is new query client we are creating the object of that so here we are just passing this client that's it now we will be passing the 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 uri of the graphql request somewhere else because here we are just creating the client passing that in the provider and then while making the request because react query is not actually the graphql it's just like it's used mostly for the rest but now let's see how it works with the graphql we go to the app.js we will change the code here our query will be the same here use query we are getting from the react query okay and we will import few things from graphql request which is request and gql this we are getting from graphql request and now how these both the libraries graphql request and react query will work here we created our query gql this is a get launch and now as we have seen what is the syntax of use query it actually provides all different states like data loading error data is loading error and we can use use query inside use query we can just provide a key okay launches i'm looking for this is the key and 
this is the callback inside this you can make a call now we are using request module which is coming from uh, graphql request i'm talking about this request module and return request we also need to add an endpoint endpoint means the graphql endpoint so request endpoint and with the endpoint we can pass the query name so query is the get launch so it is also the same thing in the exios and fetch we were writing the exios and fetch code here with the use query now we don't need to use this because we already get the data is loading error so this is not a loading it's is loading attribute with the use query if is loading if there is error error dot message otherwise the same set of code we can write like if we are getting the launch posts then we got the data okay this is nice right now we are able to have this with the help of react query and the graphql request both the libraries works nicely now if we can do it with the react query and graphql request why can't we do with the exios because exios can also trigger the post request because graphql request is nothing but http post with the query and the mutation in the payload in the body right so we can use we can also import exios here exios library we are importing react query we already have so now let's change the code right here so react query what we are going to do is react query and fetch here index.js let's keep that as the same because here we don't uh, don't need to do any change here we are using only a react query the change we need to do that is only in the app.js okay so endpoint get launch here instead of doing the request we need to import exios import exios from sorry import exios will not be a named export it will be a default export import exios from exios and here we can make the exios call so here we can call return exios and in the inside exios object we can pass all the arguments like okay what is the url url is this endpoint and we are hitting the http post request for this graphql method is obviously the post and we can pass the body body is nothing but the query right here we are passing query and the query is get launch and this is going to return as a promise so we can call dot then and we can say okay if we are getting response then i can return the actual data response dot data dot data because response dot data will be the res actual response and then we have to do dot data to get the uh, payload out of it okay why it is complaining we don't need to use uh, gql here because we don't have actually we can simply say it like this get launch get launch is like a simple string we are passing it oh, okay and this works right now the same example if you want to use with the fetch right exios works fine instead of this now we just need to change this thing if we want to use react query with the fetch api and for fetch you don't need to include any module because fetch itself is a browser api so we just need to do a fetch and pass the endpoint here and rest all okay sorry this endpoint is uh, variable and then rest all the arguments arguments are method headers body method headers so here this is the url we can just pass method and headers headers is like content type application json which everybody knows this is what we are going to get the data and here we need to pass the body body should be stringified because we are using fetch and this is the query which is going to be sent as a stringify json dot stringify and here we have to pass query as an argument this is the query and 
and query is the variable name is get launch and this is going to we can just run a promise on this so return fetch okay we can do a dot then and let's see what we get in the response we can just check if response dot okay then everything is fine but if response dot status status is greater than or equal to 400 then things are not good right we can just say so new error so new error here otherwise we can just simply say is return response dot json this is again a promise okay and we can just do a dot then again onto this and we can just simply say is data dot data uh, return data dot data okay let's see if this works uh, response dot status instead of that we can also check response dot okay then only do response dot json and then we this is again a promise so we are doing dot then data and then data dot data let's run this so this is the only code we have changed right earlier we were using axios now instead of axios we are using fetch and point and all the other arguments this is a promise dot then we can just check response dot okay if the status code is 200 okay and we got the response right so this is react query with the fetch api and this is how we are going to play with this so either you use a graphql apollo graphql either you use a urql or yoga graphql client is also there or you use react query with the fetch or react query with the axios or react query with the graphql request so you can see there are five six different ways to make a graphql request right and if you talk about the rest apis we can use axios fetch react query or maybe jsonp request or maybe you can write xml http request the vanilla javascript right that is also a way to make an api call or so every library provides their own like http client in the angular uh, react uses these axios and fetch but other libraries also provide some http client library to make an api call so either it is a rest or graphql axios and fetch can be used because the graphql is nothing but a query which is being sent in the body right and axios and fetch can do that now you can just integrate it with the use query or you can use this apollo graphql which is obviously providing all these uh, use query use mutation hooks and the urql the only thing is you have to if you are using graphql then you have to wrap it inside a provider uh, either a apollo graphql client or urql client and in the case of uh, react query also you have to wrap it react query we have already seen this how to use it in the rest apis there also we need to use it we need to wrap the component as a provider and then react query can be used to fetch update delete uh, the data the only advantage of react query is it provides these consistent state like data loading error so you don't need to use a three different use state or use state use effect hooks to manage all these things okay thanks everyone this is all about like uh, i just see this uh, in the github guest and i thought like i should cover this example this is really useful for developers